okay guys so in this mini series i'll be showing you how to start crafting beautiful animations with react reanimated if that is something you're interested in please hit the subscribe button and let's get started all right so in this video we'll be creating this bouncing animation using the react reanimated library so without wasting time let's get started so what i have here is a blank expo app ignore this We'll begin by um, going into the directory which is cd into the reanimated library that I just created and we'll start the server using the command yarn start this is going to start the local server once this is started I'll come to my emulator and I'll click on enter url manually then I'll come back here I'll copy this expo Expo a uh, URL and I'll paste it into the emulator. And I'll click connect. Okay, so when that is finished building, I'm going to come back to the editor and I'll minimize this uh, terminal. I will go to the, the app component. This is the main component of the application. What I need to do is I need to remove this uh, default text and create a view. Give it a style of saying styles.animated. And inside here, we're going to start the view using, uh, we'll say, for the animated container, we're going to give it a width. Let's declare a variable up here called size. So we'll say cons size and we'll set it to 70.0. So come here and we we'll say for size, we'll give it a width of. Uh, size and the height we'll give it the height of size as well and we'll set the border reduce to 50 and the background color to orange Save that and we have our small ball here. The next thing we need to do is um, to animate this ball, we need to install the React Reanimated library. So I'm going to go back to the terminal, create a new terminal, and uh, inside here, let me say cd into reanimated. Inside here, we're going to run the command npx, sorry, yarn add react uh, native reanimated hit enter now we install the reanimated library now one thing you may notice about the reanimated library is that by default uh, re an export project already comes with a, a react reanimated library uh, built in but that library doesn't, it's not as uh, efficient as the up-to-date version. So you may have a warning after it has finished installing, telling you that um, you have two versions of reanimated library and they are conflicting with each other. So once this is finished installing, I'm going to show you how to resolve that. Okay, so once that is finished installing, you may have an error or a warning like I told you. Uh, you come here and then you restart the server. On the server is starting, if you have this error or warning, what you need to do is you need to run the command npx 
export install dash dash fix and this is going to fix the issue with uh, having multiple versions of expo or even having incompatible versions for instance if you come to my package.json you may see inside the dependencies that i'm using expo a we are reanimated 3.6.1 but this version may not be compatible with the with the version of um, of my expo application so it may cause conflict so um if for, for your case this may this command may run and it may fix the react reanimated library uh, not being compatible with the one you're using with the application we're running so we're going to come back here and we're going to go All right, so the issue has been resolved as you can see here and now we have the application running successfully i'm going to come back here and i'll minimize the terminal close this package.json file and we're going to start creating the animation for this for that bounce effect you saw uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this uh, view element to be an animated view so we're going to import animated from react react native uh, reanimated we are going to import animated this animated component now we're going to start styling the, the, the component so we'll create a use effect Look. We only want the blank use effect around um, when the application starts. So I'm going to create this use effect, and before that, we're going to create a uh, two two variables. We have uh, the progress variable, which is going to be a use shared value. We'll give it a default value of one. I'll create another variable called um, the scale. This this will manage the scaling of the application up and down. So we're going to be u shared value. A u shared value is imported automatically from the React reanimated library. So also give it the default value of one. Now we're going to come down here to this uh, use effects, and we're going to say that. When the animation style we are going to set the the scale value to be now, now to make this um circle animate you're going to have to import the with spring package from the react animator library i'm going to set the value to three this is going to give it that bounce effect when the animation starts and then we're going to give it the style here by saying cons reanimated style for this button you can you can name this whatever you want it's going to be a use animated style it's also going to import it from the uh react reanimated library So you come down here and you say import the use and use animated style and this is the function that has the that takes in the callback and we're going to say it should uh, return here we'll set the transform property we're going to say it should transform should scale now we're going to pass in the value scale.value 
this is going to scale the application so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come well, it says use effect does not exist so it did not import the use effect so i'm going to come here if you hit control space it's going to open this um tool tip that uh, that will enable you to easily import packages by connecting to them so i'm just going to press control control space and then uh, select your use effects that is going to import the use effect to from react i will save that and that should fix the error now coming back to the style i'm going to add this animated style this transform property to this um to this uh, animated view element so i'll add the style by coming here giving it an array of styles and i'll say the style should be the reanimated style this reanimated style now save it as you can see the application um the the circle has scaled to the scaling value which was passed which was given to it in this case uh, three now to make the animation uh, spring up and down we're going to import the width spring property as well so you say width spring this is also a package that is available inside of the react animator library so i'm going to import it and here we're going to say that the width spring property takes in that animation which is this width timing and um you're going to set the number of times you want the animation to go for which is a uh, this uh, value so you set the value to be however you want you're going to set it to 100 and then now you're going to pass in the callback so i'm just going to set this one to true you just say you should animate the the button sorry the circle Uh, this uh, reanimator library takes in a second parameter which is uh, which is the state change of your application just like the use effect um, it also takes in that um, parameter that when the then when the values change uh, the reanimated star is going to fire uh, the, this function is going to run so i'm going to save that oh yes we had an error here where instead of saying with it is with repeat sorry all right with repeat and uh, i should fix that error so what we have to do is we we'll have to uh, restart the server uh, go back to the server and press r to reload it's going to reload the application All right, so as you can see, this is the bounce animation. So the reason why we're doing this uh, bounce animation is uh, because uh, in this uh, in this our uh, UI UX series, we are going to be using a lot of animations. Um, so we just wanted, I just wanted to get that uh, resolved so that uh, once we start using animations in the U UI UX series, we will not have uh, issues with the reanimated library not working so thank you very much for watching the, to the end and uh, i'll see you next time